Well, this bright pink shimmery packaging for a unicorn face mask looks innocent enough, promises to brighten your skin, make it look nice and youthful, but people using this product say it's doing way more harm than good. Lauren Moore is 13. She's got a collection of at-home facial masks, a popular treat during sleepovers with friends. After the last party, a few, including this Yes To Grapefruit Brightening Unicorn Mask, were left over. It had caught my eye specifically because of the shiny packaging and how, like, kiddish it sort of looked, so I thought it might be fun to try on. The package says if it's tingling, it's working. But barely five minutes on her face, Lauren says it felt like her face was on fire. It stung so bad that I could barely open my eyes and my eyes started to water. This was her face after using it, red and burned. I walked downstairs to my mom and was like, I don't know what to do, and she told me to put the owl on it. Thankfully, nearly 24 hours later, her face cooled off and is almost back to normal now. But after sharing her story with friends on Snapchat and her mom posting to Facebook, they learned of dozens of other similar complaints with this Yes To brand mask. In fact, Friday night, the company posted to its social media saying it was temporarily pulling the product to investigate. It makes me feel like I should probably check the label before using face masks or like stuff like that because there are really harmful chemicals that could be in those face masks that I hadn't experienced before. But despite the apparent voluntary recall, we still found the unicorn mask at major retailers in the Metro Monday. We asked yes to why and haven't heard back. Dermatologists recommend you research the ingredients on any skincare product before you use it. This one in particular has lactic acid and vitamin C, which are more typical to help aging skin and tighten it, not for kids' skin. And if you can, do a small spot test and wait a while to see if you have a reaction before applying it to your entire face. Kara Mashik, Fox 4 News.